Are you looking for a budget robot vacuum to maintain your floors each night and not wake up the whole house? Today I will be reviewing the Musu 11S RoboVac, courtesy of Musu. Alright, so once you pick up your Musu robot vacuum and you open up the box, here's what you're going to get. The MT501 robot vacuum. You're going to get a remote control, which does not come with battery, so you're going to need to pick them up on your own. Comes with a charging base, an AC power adapter, cleaning tool, an extra set of high performance filters, side brushes, and a manual. Now let's talk about the structure of this robot vacuum. So the Musu RoboVac is about three inches high. But I will say, even though it's only three inches, it did get stuck in a few places in my home. It's a little over a foot wide. It's very shiny and unfortunately shows dust and fingerprints very easily. It has a pretty good size dust bin at 0.6 liters and it has a 2500 milliamp hour battery. On the top, you're going to find the Wi-Fi indicator LED along with the logo and an illuminated multifunction button. On the side, you're going to find the power switch and on the front, you're going to find rubber bumpers in case it runs into anything. Now this RoboVac has strong wheels that'll enable it to climb all over everything. There's been a few times when it's climbed on stuff and it's gotten stuck. A lot of other RoboVacs would have never made it up there. But it does allow it to get over things and get through things. So going from hardwood to carpet, it doesn't have any trouble transitioning. All right, so let's talk about what this vacuum can do. So it has multiple cleaning modes. It has the wall follow mode, it has a spiral mode, it has a manual mode and it has a smart mode. Now the smart mode was my favorite because of how well it cleans. It zigzags back and forth through the entire room and it actually leaves a pretty nice cleaning pattern when it's done. It uses a smart chip to map the room as it cleans so it knows where it's cleaned and where it hasn't cleaned. After it's done zigzagging and cleaning the room, it'll go around the entire edge of the room to make sure the whole room is clean. It does a solid job on carpet and I was really impressed but it did have some issues on my hardwood floor. It never cleaned as well as some of my other RoboVacs. Now, like I said, it does come with a remote and you can use that to control the robot and have it clean specific areas. One of the features I really like about this RoboVac is how quiet it cleans. So even though it's cleaning and it's doing a really good job, you can't really hear it running around the room. It also has an anti-fall feature. So if it's approaching a staircase or something like that, it will actually turn around and go the other direction. It can connect to your Wi-Fi so you can use the Smart Life app to control it or if you want, you can use Amazon Alexa to control it. Now the total cleaning time on this RoboVac is about 100 minutes. Now that's just over an hour and a half and so that's plenty enough time to clean a couple small rooms or one large room. After cleaning when the battery goes low, it will return itself back to the base and charge up. Now I thought it did a decent job about returning itself back to the base. It did take a while, but it would eventually get there. Now there were a couple instances where I set it to go vacuum and it ended up going back before the 100 minutes, even though it still had charge left on the RoboVac. I don't know if it was me and maybe I hit another mode accidentally and didn't realize it. Now to get it fully charged up so it's ready to vacuum again, it's going to take you about 300 minutes or 5 hours. And like I said, it does come with an app and so there's a lot of different features you can use inside the app, but one of them is scheduling. So if you want to set it up to automatically go clean on its own a certain time or a certain day, you can use the app to do it. Now I wasn't impressed with the app. It's not a dedicated app just for the robot. There's actually a lot of other things built into the app. So personally, I would have liked to have seen a dedicated app for just the robot. But other than that, it does do the job. And if you want, you can actually use the app to control the robot and move it around the room and clean different areas. I think it works great on carpet. And I love the finished look of the room. On our hardwood floor, maybe we just have too much stuff or maybe it's just not as good as it is on the carpet. Either way, if you're looking for an entry level budget vacuum cleaner and you don't want to spend 500 plus dollars on it, then I would say if you like the features, then go ahead and pick this one up. Right now, at the time of this recording, you can get it for right around $141 on Amazon. I'll make sure to put a link down in the description. If this review was helpful, then please hit the like button. And remember, if you want to learn more about awesome technology and cool gadgets, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I do appreciate watching. Thank you for coming and I'll see you next time.